what's going on guys welcome back so here we are we just landed in Antigua Antigua and Barbuda uh, arrived from JFK the flight was like what was it, about 3 3.30 round trip I'll put it right there uh, non-stop flight from JFK during uh, COVID so pretty good flight um, this is a quick trip we're only going Friday to Sunday and just a quick getaway it's cold in New York it's like like 45 degrees in April so we're like oh let's get a quick getaway so I'm with about 10 of my friends I'll run through their Instagrams right here so you can see them all all good friends all different walks of life uh, put it out there and said hey he wants to come away and they all reached out and they said let's go so here we are we're here in uh, the Caribbean but I gotta show you we're, we're, uh, we're doing something a little bit different a little bit bougie we're glamping it's like high-end camping on the beach we're staying with the Wild Lotus camping. Uh, we are in Valley Church Bay in Antigua. You can see how beautiful it is. Look at this. It is something else. Uh, but yeah, these are the these are the camps. It looks pretty good. Oh, here's my sister. She's coming, walking over. What do you think? Amazing. Give me. Uh, what's your first impression of the place? Um, really hot. Colorful. Some poverty, which is expected, but the beaches are beautiful, and everyone's been super friendly so far. I'm excited. What do you think about the glamping? Oh, the glamping's great. I don't know if um, I'm gonna survive in it at night. <laughs> I might end up sleeping on the sand. But let's get some drinks. Get some drinks. So I want to show you guys our tent real quick. Look at it. It's pretty cool. Look at this. The bathroom is pretty impressive. Look at the shower, the outdoor heated shower over here. It's like brass, brass bed frames, but the view is something else. Look at that, you just wake up. Like, I don't think you can see from the video how great it looks. Like. Just being able to look out and have like that unobstructed view of the ocean or the Caribbean is something else. But yeah, look at this. Super fancy, super high end. So I'll put the prices right up here. I've been dealing with Vanita from, she's the manager or the owner, I should say, of this uh, great camping location. Um, I'll put all the information right here. This is them right here, this is their Instagram. Um, the prices were, uh, they were pretty good, but I'll tell you, the first initial impression of walking up seeing this is all worth it. I think it's about $2.50 a night. Um, they have little add-ons, like we're having the barbecue later, open bar, I'll show you the bar later. We're gonna get a couple drinks in this and we'll have a good time. What's going on? We're gonna have a fire pit, we brought the hookah, got the football going. It's gonna be a nice, uh, relaxing vacation. I busted my chops before about, uh, Oh, you're going on these trips. What about going on a vacation? I'm like, this is a vacation. <laughs> this is not a trip. This is going to be nice and relaxing. Let's go check it out. I, I kid you not. It was just that sheer will of survival. That just, like, that, that I mean, just this man. motherfucker goes on so many trips, and I feel like that one fucking experience is going to take him out. Is. No, come on. No, come on now. Come on. Come on now, come on now. <laughs> nah, but bro, like, you have to ask yourself when you're 80 years old, right? You look back and you're like, or you're that great fan. You want that I almost died story a couple times, but you But as you're, as you're wearing the Sunday Fun Day shirt, where was that? I was a big I didn't almost die though. I had a great time. Now, 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 now,
Yeah, but the experience there, you guys, we almost got robbed, right? <laughs> what, what are you drinking in there? What do you got? I am drinking vodka with a little bit of tang. It's okay. It's a sparkling grapefruit flavored beverage. All right, not bad. And a little bit of lemon. What do you think of the view? We're about to go on the jet ski. She doesn't know it yet, but they're waiting for I'm us over there. And terrified. that's where we're, we're gonna hop on the jet ski and we're gonna we're gonna book it to another island. Let's see. See, they're right there. They're coming for us. Are you ready? As ready as I'm gonna be. If you look right over there, you can see a little tiny hut. Right over there, you can see there's literally, literally nothing really surrounded by our huts. It's kind of, kind of wild to look at, right? Yeah, it is. It's so remote. Super remote. Little tiny houses in the hills, little cute houses. A bunch of uh, billion dollar boats, but what do you expect? And then our little tents. Our little tents over there. I think I could see Simon and Sabrina over there ripping it. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you're going to see it on the camera, but they're just going back and forth right on the shoreline. We tried to go a little island over there. We decided to turn around. It's a little far. A little bit far. We're a little far. A little far out, but we're about to rip it back, so here we go. Joe, don't kill Kira, all right? Oh my God. Miley, I love her. <laughs> yeah. That was a blast. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Look at you with the new lingo, the young kid lingo. <laughs> Call me out. Hi, guys. <laughs> Babe, my husband looking amazing. Ow, ow. <laughs> All right, cut. I don't know how to cut it. Vinny, how do we cut it? <laughs> cut? Come on now, you're on your phone, you're in paradise, we're waiting to take a shot. What are you doing here? Come on now. How are you doing? <laughs> I feel great. Oh, we're at the bar and you're on the phone. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, Ray. Sunset beer. Can't beat it. Look at that beer. Little sunset action. Woo! Living the life, that's all it is. Wow. One day at a time. That's all we got. Okay. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's 40 degrees in New York. You guys should be aware. It's a $300 flight, and you should be here right now. I'll drink to you guys. Yeah, you may be an ideal. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? We all gonna get fucking salmon now. This is Survivor. <laughs> Whoever's last in line only gets one piece of corn. That's it, no chicken. <laughs> you got us four points of Survivor, now you get nothing. That's it. What happened here? Vomit in your tent? 
We did have one person vomit in my tent. Who vomited in your tent? No, someone vomited on my tent. On your tent? On the outside. <laughs> I think Kira said she actually vomited. No, that was before she vomited. <laughs> then she vomited. <laughs> all right, so Luigi. No, she's over Luigi's there. Luigi's gone. He's gone with the wind. The sun what the happened camera. to him? Oh my god, so we all were having a good night. Kept drinking and drinking. And uh, it's like about 2 o'clock in the morning. And I just wake up to like, Whoa! So I'm thinking somebody's trying to come into my fucking tent. This guy's <laughs> puking all over his guts out. And then on top of that, I can't fucking sleep. <laughs> now I'm paying attention to him, thinking this guy's about to fucking die. Oh, oh yeah. fucking roaches and ants in my fucking thing in my pants. Oh shit, yeah, and you then do on top have... of that, I got destroyed by mosquito. I even know where to scratch anymore. His lower back, back is fucking experience, I'll tell you that. all bubbled out. You couldn't have done it any better. We haven't eaten in four spot. days. Literally two or three. How many, how long has it been? What? Since we've eaten? Days, right? Yeah, more or less. It's been a couple of days. You have no electricity. <laughs> no electricity. You can't charge your phones. The shower is ice cold. Uh, yeah, shower is ice cold, but I feel like it's needed. And I'm um, just ready for the day. See what's going on. Hopefully yeah. we survive another day. Yeah, I think we'll survive. <laughs> I'm hoping that. I'm waiting for the uh, the breakfast this morning. Uh, pick us up something. Hopefully, we're all really hungry. We should have brought snacks. We all messed that up. They're not feeding us properly. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just didn't bring snacks. There's nothing here. It's really just the beach. That's the way. It's really sand and palm trees. Yeah. Actually, there's bananas over here and there's a guava tree somewhere. Ooh, what's kind of banana? Yeah. These are ripe. Hey, pick one of these bad boys. Oh, whoa, what was that, a duck? Yeah, just throw me. Yeah, you want a banana? There's a banana tree over here. What? This is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. really good. They're ripe as hell. Paul's gonna come back and be no more bananas. There'll be no bananas. You'll be like, what the fuck, guys? Some bananas have been We're hungry. We're growing for two years. <laughs> That was a fucking solid banana, I'm not gonna lie. This is, I've never seen a banana this small. It's just not... Honestly, it's not fully grown, but it probably is fully grown. What do you think? It's a banana. Pretty good? Yeah. Shit, at least the island is feeding us. <laughs> you said they had coconuts around here? There's a guava tree somewhere. That's, um... Passion fruit. I don't know what hash is supposed to look like. Is that ripe or, or no? no? Nah, that's no, no, a little. It's a little baby one. <laughs> you want a banana, bro? You hungry? Hey, she's cooking it now. She's doing stuff now. I'm like, are you gonna fight me for this one? No, I haven't eaten anything. This one, um, fresh. Yeah, try it. Grab like three bananas. They're right there. The skin too? She, um. Like, slurp it. Get it, like. Pull that out. Is she good, Nadia? Wow. No, straight. That's she good, Nadia? It's good, right? Make a survival for this. What is that? Why wasn't this shown to us last time? It should be yellow. I had a pita bread for breakfast. Oh, there's leftover pita? See a nice little breakfast they made for us right here, beachfront. Looks pretty good. We're very happy. Very happy. Oh, let's it in. oh look at two stragglers. Two stragglers coming along. <laughs> Antigua? Antigua. 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 We're in Antigua. And like always in Antigua, Dominican men don't cheat. <laughs> so that's number one. So I'm coming, I'm coming back to life now. I drank a lot of various alcoholic beverages. The wine, the wine was the main one that just destroyed me, but you know, we're starting off with a little rum punch, doing things the right way. And as you can see, enjoying this beautiful view. Take a play, life's great. Cool catch. 
like a 45 foot catamaran. Uh, put the prices up here. It was like, I think it was like $1,800 for six hours. It's a big boat, got a couple cabins, open bar, uh, crew is friendly. And uh, yeah, we're relaxed. We're all hung over from yesterday, as you saw before. <laughs> and like really, really hung over. Multiple people throwing up, and we're all intense, so you can hear everything. Every single time somebody throws up, we can hear it. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we're laying on the, we're all laying on here. We're in the view, I'll show you. So I'm terribly burnt. Uh, I didn't put sunscreen on, and I'm charred. Joe's pretty charred too. Look at him. My His head. hand has fucking glaucoma. Yeah. Look at all the bug bites. We're eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for dinner. Yeah, that's what we got over there. We got all cold but cuts. At least we get to survive another day. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah. So we went on the boat. Cool cat. Put all the information for you before pretty good um they were really good i it had some mixed reviews online but it turned out to be a great a great day bev uh the hostess really took care of us boat was fine we went to a really nice beach they had a great meal for us which i was surprised and then uh, we just had a nice sunset here so you guys didn't get to see the sunset but it was still really nice uh but we paid for the open bar so we're gonna have another night of open bars. It's gonna get a little wild. We get the hookah going, get the music going. And it's, if you see, it's just us on this beach. I'll show you here. Uh, see, it's pretty much just us on the beach. That's our little camp right here. Pretty nice. Uh, I don't know what. Just doing, just, just doing things. Adios, amigos. Much love. I'm Antigua. That's your uh, Caribbean accent? Go on. Trinidad. Tr Trini. I'm from Trini. Ah. I've been cooking before you were born. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every, every day of the week. Mama raised me right. Chicken. What, what you want to drink, honey? <laughs> <laughs> that's, exa that's pretty good. Thank you. And see. Going to a shipwreck, which is fucking wild. Boat sunk in 1922, hit by three cannonballs, <laughs> carrying tar from South America to Antigua. Okay. And you're about to see some shit. Sacks piping out of the water. Yeah. How deep did we dive? I dove five feet. I got pushed <laughs> But this ass over here went like 20 feet. watching this fucking help me thank you <laughs> cheers <laughs> is this the atlantic or the pacific this is the caribbean you dumb fucks <laughs> no you said it was the atlantic this is the caribbean we're on the caribbean side caribbean sea 
The other side of this island is the Atlantic, you dumb fucks. <laughs> A whale. Could have been a whale. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. It's Sunday. Just had breakfast. We all just woke up. Joe's just been eating alive. Again. Pretty bad. Shit fucked up. My elbows are missing. Yeah. I'm trying to fall off. My skin is falling off because I'm so burnt. Yeah. Did you eat yet? Yeah, so am I. I'm really burnt. Let's see how bad is your sunburn. Not too bad, not too bad. See the girls over there. They're doing the last day. We gotta pack up, we gotta catch a flight. Uh, it's not bad, only four hours. So we to to the airport and then back to reality. But if you enjoyed this vlog, please like, follow, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Tell them, Joe. Please do that. It makes fucking sense all the time. Yes. Until next time. <laughs>